Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to convert an assembly language program into object program in SIC machines. This is the solved example number one. The link for other solved examples is given in the description below. In this case, uh, we have been given this uh, assembly language program. We have to convert this particular assembly language program into an object program uh, using pass1 and pass2 algorithms. So we will see that particular thing, what is the process we need to follow in the next uh, slide. To convert uh, assembly language program into uh, object code, we need uh, the machine equivalent uh, values for all the instructions or you can say that uh, the pneumatic codes, uh, they were also given to us. For example, LDA is equal to 00, LDX is equal to 04 and so on. So considering these particular things, uh, we have to convert this assembly language program into machine uh, understandable language or you can say that the uh, object program in this case. Now uh, I will create uh, uh, this particular table with uh, different columns here. I have added two more columns in this case. The first column is uh, location counter and the last column is object code here. Uh, we have been given this particular label uh, of code and what we can say that the operand already. Now the very first thing uh, what we need to do is we need to search for this particular uh, start uh, uh, opcode. Once you get this particular start opcode the meaning of this one is uh, this label is nothing but uh, the name of the program and this is the starting address. We will uh, put this particular starting address into LOCCTR and we will assign it to the first instruction. So this is the first uh, executable instruction over here. So we will put that particular 4000 over here. Now, uh, one more thing you can easily understand, uh, how can I say this particular thing as the first executable instruction is, we have to search for end and we need to see the label here. The label in this case is first, the meaning is this is the first executable instruction in this case. Now, uh, in uh, SIC, there is only one instruction format is uh, available, that is 24-bit uh, uh, instruction format. The meaning is we have to increment uh, 3 uh, to all those particular instructions. Uh, and whenever we come across uh, the different assembly directives, uh, we have to see the operand value and then accordingly we need to increment the value of uh, L versus CTR. So this is uh, 4000. Uh, the next instruction must be loaded at uh, 4003 in this case because we have to add 3 to this one so that I will get the next instruction. Similarly, I will uh, add 3 to this particular thing so that I will get the next one that is 4006 and so on. So this is what actually I will perform. The same thing I have shown in this particular slide. So first one is 4000, second one is 4003, 4006, 4009. After 9, we will get, uh, it's a hexadecimal addition. So we will get uh, 4000A uh, here and then 4000B. Uh, so these are the three, uh, what you can say that the bytes and the next byte is 400C. That is the next one. So after 400C, we will get 400D, 400E. The next one will be 400 F here. Uh, after F, we will get 4010. F after F, we don't have anything in uh, hexadecimal, so it will be 10. Okay. After this, uh, we have to add three to this particular. Uh, uh, F here. So if I add 3 to this one, it will become uh, first of all 4010 and then 4011. The next one will be 4012. If I add 3 to this one, it will become 4015. Now from here to here, if you want to get this number, uh, we have to be very careful. Till here, all of them are uh, the instructions. The instructions are 3 bytes in length. So we have added 3 to this particular thing. But when you come across this particular thing, this particular uh, line, the line number line has RESW. The meaning of this one is I am trying to res uh, reserve 2000 bytes here. 2000 words actually, 2000 words in this case. 2000 words is equivalent to, you can say that uh, 2000 into 3, uh, which is equivalent to 6000 uh, bytes. Now what I supposed to do is I have to convert this 6000 uh, decimal number into hexadecimal. I think it will become 1770 uh, in terms of uh, what we can say that hexadecimal equivalent. Now I have to add this particular thing over here. Uh, 4015, uh, I will write it here. 
4015 we have to this one i will add 1770 it will become 5 as it is 7 plus 1 it is 8 0 plus 7 it will be 7 and 4 plus 5 it will be 4 plus 1 it will be 5 here so the next number or the next location counter is 5785 in this case now when you come across this particular instruction we have resw how many byte words we are reserving three words three words not three words one word that is nothing but three bytes so i will add three to this one so that i will get the next one that is 5788 here next uh, this is a word word means i am not registering i am uh, creating a character constant the value of that particular constant is zero in this case so uh, again it is a word constant so it will be three bytes i have to add word means three bytes so i will add three i will get this particular b here after eight we will get uh, nine uh, and then we will get a after that we will be getting b here now after b uh, first of all we need to check it out what is present here we have resw again the meaning is one word i am registering one word is equal to three bytes here so i will add three to this one i will get this particular last one uh, after b we have uh, c and then d i will be getting e in this case here so this is how uh, what we can do is uh, we can uh, assign the location to each and every instruction here so once you do this particular thing uh, we will uh, start writing this particular last column that is the object code here i will try to show you how to write that particular thing uh, for this particular start end or any other assembler directives uh, except this particular word and byte for example if you have rsw rsw here rsw for these things we will not be having any object code uh, if you have word byte we will be having ob uh, object code but uh, for this one RESW end start and RESB we will not have any uh, any object code because uh, they are just the assembler directives which will direct how the program should work that's it now we will start with this one how to write this particular uh, uh, what we can say that the object code uh, the very important thing we should remember is uh, the object code has uh, the uh, 24 bits so first 8 bits are for opcode the next one bit is for X and the remaining uh, 15 bits are for address here that's a very important thing if the value of x is equal to 0 it's a index uh, normal addressing mode or a direct addressing mode if it is 1 it is an index addressing mode now how to decide whether it's an index or uh, direct addressing mode is based on this one if you have comma x in any instruction that is in the in operand field the meaning is it's a uh, indexed addressing mode in all other cases it will be direct addressing mode Whenever we have a direct addressing mode, it is very easy to write the object code. But when it comes to index addressing mode, we have to be very careful here. So we will take this particular case at the later stage. Now, for this particular thing, we have to check this particular value. Uh, that's an opcode. The value of this uh, opcode LDX is we have already given. That is 4. So 4 I will write in the first uh, 8 bits. 0, 4. And then uh, the operand field has a label. The label is 0 the label is found over here and its address is 5788 so i will write that particular thing 5788 here so actually we are using 16 bits out of 16 bits the most significant bit is equal to 0 here because it's a direct addressing mode now coming back to the second one lda the value of lda is given here that is equal to 00 so i will write it here again 0 uh, is a label and its value is 5788 i will write it over here Coming back to the next one, it's a very important thing that is uh, index addressing mode. The value of add is 18. So first 8 bits, we will use it to write this particular 18. First 8 bits. The next bit is, uh, you can say here, uh, the index addressing mode. That's very important. And the value of this particular uh, table is what? What is the value here? 4015. So I will try to write that particular 4015 uh, in 15 bits. 15 bits means uh, the most significant uh, 4 can be written something like this one 100 zero, zero. Uh, the next 0 can be written like uh, 4 zeros and then uh, 1 can be written like 0001 zero, 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 and then the last 5 can be written like 0101 zero, one, zero, one here now there is one bit I have to use this is the opcode I have written in directly exact decimal only so this particular bit is for x so because it's index addressing mode i have to put uh, one here now if you see this one this will become c this is 0 
this is uh, 1 and this is 5 that is what I have written here C015 in this case similarly we can uh, do it for uh, TIX TIX count is a direct addressing mode so TIX value we, we have it uh, it is 2C so 2C I have written the count value is equal to 5785 I have written it here JLT loop JLT I think 38 uh, loop must be present here that is 4006 I have written it over here STA total STA value is uh, 0C total value is 578B I have written that particular thing over here R sub R sub is not having any operand uh, but the value of R sub must be 4C here because there is no operand we will put 0 here 4C is the R sub value and there is no operand so we will put 0 here. Now coming back to the next one RSW as I said earlier RSW RSB end and start does not have any object code so we will put it uh, blank here. Word we are uh, creating one integer constant the size of this particular integer constant is 3 bytes and its value is 0 here so 0 0 0 that is a 3 bytes uh, representation of uh, 0 here. Uh, for this one again we don't have any object code for this one we don't have any object code here so this is how actually we can convert uh, instructions into object code the one point you need to remember is uh, whenever we get an uh, index addressing uh, mode that is the only part uh, we need to remember remaining everything is quite simple over here now once you get this particular object code uh, we have to write an object program so this is the final uh, object program uh, it has uh, three sections as I said earlier in the previous video that is head section, text section, there may be one or multiple text sections and uh, one end section here. So first we will see uh, how the head section look like. The head section starts with uh, H here and then we have something called as program name and then uh, uh, head, head is represented with one column, 2 to 7 column is program name, 8 to 13 column that is uh, 6 uh, columns are used for uh, representing the starting address and 14 to 19 are used to represent the length of the program in bytes so this is what the head record is all about now if i go back i will show you the first column is h the next six columns are used to represent the uh, name of the program that is sum dash 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 and uh, the next one is the starting address if you go back and see the starting address is uh, 4000 here okay that is represented in uh, six columns and the six columns are used to find the length of uh, to represent the length of this program so length is nothing but uh, 5780 minus 4000 that will become 1780 in this case so that is what we have represented and uh, one more very important thing is uh, two columns is equal to one byte that is the one more important point we need to remember here now coming back to the text record the text record looks uh, something like this the first column is t 2 to 7 is the starting address of that particular text record because if you have multiple text record what is the starting address within a text record we need to mention here 8 and 9 will represent the length of that particular text record and 10 to 69 will represent the actual object code here so for a total 69 column out of that uh, first 9 columns are for t uh, starting address and length so 10 to 69 that is uh, 60 columns are used to represent the object pro object code in this text record here. So that is the maximum one. If you have more than 69 you can create one more text record or if you want to create a text record uh, in between also you can do it. But uh, you have to mention this particular length very carefully in this case. So I will show you uh, the first one is T. The starting address is 4000 but we have to use 6 columns here. I will tell you how to write this particular 15 later. The object codes are you can see here we have object codes here uh, this is the first one second one third one fourth one fifth one sixth one and seventh one I have written up to seventh one here up to four seat four zeros so seven uh, uh, object code I have written one object code needs how many columns six columns so total number of columns uh, required are uh, seven uh, object code I have written every object code need six uh, columns so the total number of uh, columns are 42 what two column is equal to one byte means uh, 42 columns is equal to 21 bytes in this case now if you want to represent 21 in hexadecimal the hexadecimal equivalent of 21 is 15 in this case so that is what will come and sit over here now we have a few more uh, what we can say that uh, the object codes remaining this is the one more remaining remaining everything is uh, already written so 
this is text the address of this particular one the address is over here this is starting address of this text record that is what i have written here and there is only one object code six columns six columns is equal to three bytes okay so that is nothing but three here and finally we will write the end record end record is uh, e followed by the starting address of that particular uh, the first executable instruction or you can say that e followed by the e uh, address of the first executable instruction first executable instruction is 4000 in this case so this is how we will write uh, the object uh, program in this video i have discussed how can we convert the assembly language program into uh, object program in sic machine this is the solved example number one the link for other solved examples is given in the description below if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching